radiotoday.co.uk at the Radio Festival. This is Radio Today. I'm here with Richard Bacon, who's hosting the festival this year. And uh, first bit out there just now, yeah. already two Adrian Van Claveren jokes. Two Adrian. That may be one too many. I've not seen Adrian yet, but yeah. I, I did do two. Are you looking um, forward to keeping your job after this? <laughs> I've signed a long-term deal that lasts three years. No way he can break it. Are you, are you excited <laughs> to be important. hosting this festival? This yeah, year? no, I am, yeah. Um, I am, and I did... Um, I opened it with a speech that was kind of a bit Churchillian in, I, in a very mock ironic way. But what I was saying in that speech is that people who work in radio love talking about radio, and that's what we do. And we have coping mechanisms. If, if the subject veers away from radio, we have ways of getting any topic back round to radio. So if someone talks about the Chilean miners, and it's like, oh, God, yeah, well, I heard that on, the, on Ken Bruce's show. And so having a, a, a navel-gazing industry symposium where we can talk for 36 hours unbroken about radio is our dream and we are living that dream today. What are you looking forward to most at the festival this year? Chris Evans on stage, he's always a good guest. He was on my radio show last week where he talked about Chris Moyles. Yeah, that. I saw some headlines about that. Yeah, it did create some press, didn't it? And so he'll probably have to address that again on stage today. That will be interesting. Um, Graham Norton. Do you think, sorry, just on that, do you think yeah. that was a bit of publicity for his book? He got himself on page three of the sun, didn't he? Well, when he was on my show to promote his book anyway, um, I brought the subject of Chris Moyles up. Um, now, I don't think when he said it, he thought, oh, I'll create a headline. I think he's just very honest and says what he thinks, uh, particularly in that kind of context. On his Radio 2 show, it's more a kind of world that he's created. I don't think he would do a rant on the radio anymore. He would have done his Radio 1 days, but he doesn't do that now. Whereas, actually, when I got him on Five Live, uh, it's a different environment, and he was quite opinionated, which is terrific as a, as a guest. And as you say, generate those headlines. It'd be interesting to see whether he thinks he went too far. I don't know, but that's one of the reasons I think his session will be good today. Okay, so, what else are you looking forward to? Sorry for interrupting. Well, Graham Norton, he's on stage. What else am I looking forward to? Well, this is, you know, as I said earlier, this is our Glastonbury. No, for Radio Anorax, this is it. I think probably our equivalent of Nirvana at Reading in 1992 will be the should analog radio be switched off in favour of DAB by 2015 session. You know, they're going to talk about that for years to come. I am going to lobby for it to come out on DVD. Yeah.